A harsh reality has begun for millions of Americans. Starting this month, the pause on student loan payments has been lifted. That means a new monthly bill in the mail as Americans, uh, in many cases, struggle to make ends meet. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester live with more on this as we are talking about, uh, for some folks, hundreds of dollars a month. It's a real difference maker, Hank. Yeah, Devin, I mean, it's a significant ex expense for a lot of people. We've been talking with students here at Wayne State, also the financial experts helping you give the information that you need to know to prepare for this big financial change for more than 28 million Americans. It's that time again, time to pay back student loan debt. The break from the pandemic now over. Take a look at the numbers. There are 28 million Americans who are borrowers. The key date, October 1st, but that's not your due date. You'll find that out through your actual borrower. The average debt, about $37,000. So I have a payment plan to pay back all my loans. So they reached out to you, gave you all the information before we hit this October deadline? Yes. Okay. So do you feel pretty prepared for it now? Very prepared for it. Shari Watson is a student here at Wayne State, and she, like many, has student loans. I have a job, and I work almost every day. You just have to budget for it? Yeah, you have to budget. You know how to, have to spend your money wisely. If you have a loan, here's what you need to know. Studentaid.gov will let you know who is your loan servicer, and from your loan servicer, you'll know when are the due dates of your payments. Bill Dendy, a student loan expert, says it's also important that you look for ways to save. I would advise to find out what are these new plans and do you qualify or not? I think a lot of people will be surprised that they will be able to continue in deferment. And a warning about scams from Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel. She said today, the pause in student loan payments during the pandemic provided critical relief to millions of borrowers. The resumption of payments could plunge many Michigan residents into financial hardship as they navigate the complex federal loan repayment system. I urge the Biden administration to provide protections to borrowers against loan servicing errors and bad actors taking advantage of students. Back out here live at Wayne State and talking with students here on campus, many of them telling me they've already been receiving those phone calls and text messages saying, hey, if you want a better interest rate, if you want a deal, we will work something out. We require a payment up front or your personal information. Understand that is 100 percent a scam. If you have questions about the status of your loan, you need to contact the borrower directly yourself. We're live here at Wayne State in Midtown. Hank Winchester, help me, Hank. Local. Such court. important advice. All right, Hank.